Yo, what's going on guys? JBH here and welcome back to MotoGP 18 for what is Season 2 of this career mode series. So, Season 2, Moto3. Today I'm revealing the team that I am going to race with this season in Moto3 and as you can see I have chosen the Petronas, Spin uh, Petronas Sprinter Racing Team and that utilizes the Honda bike. So, Moto3, uh, to my knowledge, you can it's pretty much between a Honda or a KTM in regards of which manufacturer you go with on each team and as you can see I've decided to go with Honda. So before we get into this season uh, the goal is to finish uh, each race in 13th or basically in the top 10 as set out by the team and we have to try and focus on keeping that sort of blue sort of line inside the dismissal and first rider section. Obviously we want to get it to the first rider section but the more poor results we get means that we will go closer to that dismissal and I'd assume that if we go to the left of it then we will be fired from the team pretty much so without any further ado we'll jump straight into this first race weekend at Qatar and get this new season off and running. Greetings to all of our viewers from the peninsula of Qatar. The spotlights that light up the La Salle circuit are on and any moment now the Moto3 bikes will be revving their engines. Once again, as is customary on this track, we're looking forward to great weather for this Grand Prix, with temperatures that shouldn't cause any tyre problems. Alrighty, so here we go, just finished qualifying, and unfortunately the pace has not been too good so far. I am usually quite slow at this Qatar track, I don't know what it is, every single MotoGP game, I always seem to struggle around here. I, I feel like I get the track alright, but I don't know if it's something missing with the setup, or I just... I just can't get this place down. I mean, throughout the year, we're quite good at some other tracks, but here, we are definitely struggling. So, starting out of dead last, 29th, we got a lot of bikes to try and get past if we were to get into the points today, but to be honest, it's the first race. I'm just going to take it as sort of a learning experience. I'm still getting used to the new MotoGP 18 game. So, without any further ado, we'll get straight into this one and hopefully get a decent start and make it through the first lap. The Qatar Motorcycle Grand Prix will start shortly here in Doha and the riders are ready to compete on an amazing illuminated racetrack. Alrighty, here we go. First race of the year in Moto3. Oh god, reaction time. Wow. <laughs> that was horrible. Wow, that was quite a run. Holy crap. Come oh, on, pull it up, pull it up. Sorry, John. got to make as many positions on the first lap as possible because that's when well from lap sort of two or three onwards it's when everyone starts to spread out and we start to have to rely on pace which we obviously don't have in God uh, slight cut track Whoop. We had a bad getaway initially, but we've actually gained 13 places on this first lap. Just get the slipstream. <laughs> One, two, three, four, outbreak. Oh, God, three wide, of course. 
It's so weird in MotoGP 18, if you can actually stick like two wheels on the curb, you actually get way more grip, which is so unnatural. It feels weird, but if you can do it, it's really quick. Wow, we're, almost, we're inside the top 15, so we're halfway to the front. Another thing we have to remember is that I am on, you know, one of the slowest bikes in the category, so I don't expect to be anywhere near the front for at least the first half of the season, but if we can just get some good results, and hopefully we'll gain that sort of uh, reputation that they have on MotoGP 18, so we'll be able to move up, in, well, move up onto a faster bike. For now we're just going to try and finish this race somewhere near the front. Well, at least higher than... 15th, that's the goal. Got pace in this early couple laps, just don't want to waste my tyres too early, but the problem is because I've got no pace compared to these guys over one lap, I really need to sort of override the bike in order to stay with them. See what I mean? These curves just like rip you up and pull you to whatever direction the corner is going. Alright, so just over halfway there. Oh, sorry, just under halfway there. Still in 12, so I seem to have lost the pack in front of me. I just, I, as I said before, I just don't have the pace to sort of hold with some of these guys, but if we can just hold on to this top 15. Ah, uh, no, no. Oh my god, I knew that was going to happen. I knew that was going to happen. Far out. No, 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 no. We were up into bloody 12. I can't believe it. It's just, it's so hard to to control a bike with, you know, a video game controller. You know, it's like, you try and guess, you know, the right turn-in point for the speed you're going to get that perfect apex, but it's just so difficult to get it right every time. And, well, now we're down in 24. too late in the race now to make up too many, well, so many positions like what we did on the first lap. Everyone sort of strung out. We'll do our best. Lloyd. What? <laughs> Get forced off the track, you know. 
I hate the warning system. I mean, it's I understand it, but you know you can't do anything about that. Fair enough if you cut the corner, but running off the exit, you know, unless you're running like ridiculously wide. Dive bomb, three, two, one. Uh, boom. All right, so we got four laps to go. Alright, so here we are, last lap, we've sort of dropped again from the back of 20th, but we are holding on to 21st, so it just sucks because we really had that top 15 locked in and we lost a good 15 positions with that low side over the kerb, so we can just hold on to this. I do, I really like this track, like I do like this track, but it's, I just go crap every time we come here, I don't know why, the AI seems to always be so much quicker here than on, on your sort of average track. But we definitely need to spend more time on working on the setup in the next round, in round two, I just spent so much time trying to learn the bike and learn the new sort of physics on the, of this Moto3 bike on MotoGP 18 versus how it was on MotoGP 17. Another thing as well is that on on 17 I did use the first person sort of, you know, rider, um, well I, I know it is like a cockpit view but I guess you can't really call it a cockpit view on a bike but uh, yeah I used that on MotoGP 17 and now I'm using a third person view because the cockpit view on MotoGP 18, this game, is all sorts of messed up. I tried to use it on my first sort of right or sort of practice session in the Red Bull Rookies Cup and it was just horrible so I'm still getting used to this view, still getting used to the new physics so hopefully in round two we'll have a little bit more pace and qualify somewhat <laughs> closer to the front. But as you can see I'm trying to get I'm trying to hit these apexes on the curbs because there seems to be a lot more grip on the on the inside river strips providing they're not too big. But anyway last corner managed to get up to 12th so we did show some signs of pace early on but unfortunately 21st is the finishing position after that low side but anyways fun first race though I must admit it's quite fun going through the field but yeah not what you want so, <clears throat> so as you can see 21st Norridan and 10, so Martin and Canet, pretty much what you would expect. I mean, I'm not a fan of Canet. Uh, he's made some pretty interesting decisions, but I do think Martin's the next big thing. If we'll, I mean, you never know how a rider's going to go progressing on to MotoGP, uh, sorry, Moto2, uh, as it's just such a different bike. But this year, Martin has been really good. I mean, it's a, it's a shame he's had so much bad luck with crashes and whatnot, but yeah, no. He should be awesome next year. All right, so there it is. First race in Moto3. Now, I'm only going to do one race here on Episode 1. In Episode 2, I'll do two races. Uh, in the Rookies Cup, I would usually do three races per episode, but it takes so long to set up a bike um, for this difficulty, which is obviously the max difficulty, so I can only really run sort of two races per episode. But thanks, guys, for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed it. I know it was a lot of fun from my end, and definitely stay tuned for Episode 2 next week. Until then, I'll catch you later.